today we'll navigate the complex realm of uh, societal adversity, specifically social economic inequalities, political turmoil, and cultural conflicts. Societal adversities refer to challenges that impact large groups, communities, or entire societies. These adversities often arise from systemic issues and broad scale conflicts. They echo within individual lives, transferring per, uh, transforming personal realities and shaping social identities. Social economic inequalities, for instance, significantly impact the distribution of opportunities and resources within a society. They can perpetuate cycles of poverty, lim limit social mobility, and widen the gap between different social groups, leading to persistent social tension. Political turmoil, such as government instability, war, or political repression, affects societal harmony, leading to distress, violence, and displacement. The uncertainties and threats associated with political upheaval have profound impacts on individual lives and community dynamics. And lastly, cultural conflicts represent another crucial society adversity. They emerge from disagreements over cultural values, beliefs, or practices, leading to societal fragmentation, discrimination, and often violence. The interplay between societal adversities and personal challenges is significant. While societal adversities originate at the macro level, their implications filter down to individual experiences, coloring personal adversities with a broader societal context. To elucidate on this, let's draw on historical examples from the Spanish anti-Jewish pogroms and the Spanish Inquisition. During the 1300s, Spain witnessed an, an escalation of anti-Jewish sentiments that led to violent episodes against the Jewish community, one of the most severe being the pogroms of 1391. These pogroms, starting in cities like Sevilla, spread throughout the Iberian Peninsula, affecting cities like Barcelona and Valencia and numerous others. The brutality of these pogroms was immense. Synagogues were burned, Jewish homes were ransacked, and thousands of Jewish lives were lost. Many Jews were converted to Christianity. This wave of violence marked a significant shift leading to the systemic erosion of the Jewish community in Spain. Several factors contributed to this escalation. Socially and economically, the Jewish community was perceived to be prosperous, often involved in roles like money lending and tax collection, which led to envy and resentment among the non-Jewish population. There was also a long-standing religious tension between the Jewish community and their predominantly Catholic society. Christian preaching, particularly from influential figures like Ferran Martinez, the Archdeacon of Ejija, fueled these tensions by persistently demanding the conversion or expulsion of Jews. Moreover, political instability, coupled with uh, ineffective leadership, allowed the anti-Jewish sentiment to grow unchecked. King Juan I of Castile and King Juan I of Aragon were unable to effectively curtail the violence, further exacerbating the situation. Thus, a combination of economic resentment, religious intolerance, and political instability culminated in these violent pogroms. The societal adversities faced by the Jewish community in Spain during the 1300s represented a complex interplay of social, economic, cultural, and political factors. These events significantly transformed the social fabric and religious landscape of Spain, marking the beginning of the end for the thriving Jewish community on the Iberian Peninsula. The Spanish Inquisition, a notorious period of religious persecution and political turmoil, offers another illustrative example. Thousands of recently converted Jews to Christianity faced personal adversity, including fear, loss, and, and an identity crisis instigated by the societal adversity of religious intolerance. One example is the story of Luis de Leon, a 16th century Spanish poet and an Augustinian theologian but of Jewish ancestry. Accused of heresy by the Inquisition due to his work in the Hebrew language and criticism of the Vulgate Bible, de Leon was imprisoned for nearly five years, from 1572 to 1576. Despite the extreme adversity, he emerged with an undimished spirit and continued his academic work and composing some of his finest poetry during and after his confinement. Luis de Leon's poetry explored themes of inner peace and solitude spirituality, and the beauty of nature. His poem, 
Noche Serena, Calm Night, written in 1571, before he was imprisoned, is considered a masterpiece of Spanish Renaissance poetry. Here's the passage. When I see the heavens so splendid in their beauty, adorned with the bright shining stars, when I observe the infinite, distant horizons, and the sea deep and tumultuous, fear of the own overcomes me, and I see how great and small I am. Silent I listen, and through my inner contemplation, I escape my human condition, and the world speaks to me. In this passage, De Leon contemplates the vastness of the universe, reflecting on the human significance and the deep connection to nature. In both cases, societal adversities originating from cultural conflict and political turmoil filtered in personal lives, precipitating individual uh, challenges. Yet these individuals showcase remarkable resilience, turning adversity into a platform for personal growth and resistance against oppressive societal forces. These examples underscore the profound impact of societal adversities on individual lives. However, they also highlight the human capacity for resilience in the face of such adversities. Amidst adversity, communities often find strength and unity, shared experiences, and collective action. Societal adversity shapes societies and influence the trajectory of lives within them. However, understanding these adversities uh, and nuances enables to respond effectively, promoting resilience at both the individual and societal level. As we proceed in the course, we'll further explore these strategies that individuals and communities employed to navigate their lives.